I wanted to understand why Silicon Valley Bank was so sensitive when other banks weren't. So let's start with the basic cycle of banking, which is uh, banks take deposits. And the more deposits they have, the more reserves they have. And the more reserves they have, the more confidence people have in the bank. And the more confidence people have in the bank, the more they're willing to deposit their money in the bank. And this is the basic cycle of banking. What happened to Silicon Valley Bank is that as interest rates rose, it had a dual effect. So interest rates going up meant that funding for founders went down. So a negative relationship. And as funding went down, then those founders started taking their money out of the bank. So that puts some stress on this cycle, but still things are okay until you notice that Silicon Valley Bank had a bunch of bonds and as interest rates went up, the value of those bonds went down. And now this cycle starts working in reverse. The, you have fewer people making deposits and you, through this path and you have the value of reserves going down through this other path. And so both of these are falling, deposits and reserves are falling at the same time, which causes confidence to fall, which means fewer deposits. People start pulling their money out and, and, and kaboom.